Hello, hello, Haunted Indigo here, and welcome to today's video. So, Seven Days to Die would not open for the life of it. It would just say loading in this or loading in that, and it just show a black screen with the text for about five minutes straight. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna show off what I've done so far with the Halloween animation. Uh, well, whoops, that's the camera. No, that's not what I want. I want the work camera! Because I haven't decided what I want to do with the primary camera yet. Not that I created an animation set for it yet, but anyways, so, as of right now, this is what I have. I just animated, let's see, the three rules of Halloween, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, I did over 20 seconds yesterday. My brain felt like mush, but it was worth it, because that pretty much means that if I continue 20 seconds a day, I will have this out by... Or I shouldn't. Have, I should have the kind of building blocks for the animation finished by Monday, which is great because then that means I can go straight into the graph editor and just knock it out. Um. So, <clears throat> sorry, allergies. Great, bugger off. I don't care. Um. So, thank you. What's gonna? Ha oh man, the wait, wait. Oh wait, there it is. There's the animation. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, t -t 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 Yay, it's still marked. So last time, what I was trying to do was put in this alpha fade animation, but I put it on the wrong thing and made the green skeleton disappear. So... Yeah, just, just a tip. It is... Let's see, add attribute... It is float. You want to add it to the float. Not string. For some reason, I thought it was string. It's not. It's float. That's where you put the alpha command. Okay, then, let's see here. Create animation set for element. Yep, you do that. And that's there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna... 24 second mark. And yeah, there's going to be a floating animation that I'm going to add. But right now, I'm primarily focused on getting that fade in just right. So let's just... Make you go away for now. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. That's what I wanted the whole time, so I'm going to save that. Let's see here. Now, I should probably make a new one. Just because the animation is going to be different for that one. <coughs> Gosh darn allergies. But anyways, uh, so let's see here. New model. Skeleton. There you are, Sniper Skeleton. Load you in. Don't need you to be red. I need you to be yellowish, golden. Golden yellow. It could be either or. Uh, let's see here. Let's. Uh, scale control. Uh, body. Oh, wait a minute. Whoops. Let's just select all of that. Uh, wasn't really paying attention to that. So, let's see, where's the scale? Root transform scale. Does three look like it? No, whoopsies. Uh, zero three. Where'd you go? Okay, so let me just compare you to. Okay, yeah, that's... 
around the same size. Close enough. Okay, so now I'm going to do let's just do that. Get it positioned above the hand. Um actually that's meh. Right. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? Right, so just... Are you going through his hand? Go through his arm. Okay, it's about there. You're gonna have a very similar entrance to Sorry about that. It is getting close to feeding time for the dogs and our puppy gets super excited. So if you hear any whining or any of that, that's what that is. The puppy's fine. She just gets noisy. Okay, so gonna be leaning forward just like treat or trick was. Maybe a bit too much. Neck down, head tucked in a little bit. Jeez, that dog is so loud. Okay. I'm not sure if you heard that, but that's her romping around in the playroom. Yeah, we have a playroom for the dogs. So they don't destroy the furniture. Just gonna bring the arms forward. Like so. That in, that there. Your arms wouldn't be so stiff. They'd be kind of curled down like that. Not make that too much. Let's see here. Then the legs would kind of be down, kind of tucked back like that a little bit. Oh, this would they be? I think they might be a little pointed. Kind of. Like so. And I just noticed that the hat's floating above his head a little bit. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, if I shoot it at the right angle, nobody's gonna notice. Oh, uh, let's see here. Up like that. There we go. There's. Okay, about there is where I want. So, yeah. By the time his hand goes up, I want the treat spirit to be completely out of the way. And yes, I know, trick and treat. Very McFreakin' original. But this is for kids. This animation was made with children in mind. If this were a more adult, not themed, but adult-oriented, adult-aimed animation, this the spirits would be named something different, and the spirit of Halloween would be more based off of the original Halloween, like, celebration stuff, and paganistic stuff, and, you know, it would contain things that I could not show kids. So, let's see here. Here we go. 
actually. I think he should go up a little bit more. a little bit more then let's see here sequence that going just get you such <coughs> god I hate allergies so much um okay let's see here leaning back a little bit it to spine one, definitely spine three, head would be tilted back, arms would be kind of down like so, legs would be more Skeleton's starting to look so melodramatic, but yeah. So now let's see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. Now to make the other part of it, the second one. Okay, so about there. So, okay, there, just utilities, oh wait, import sequence, you would be leaning for a little bit too, but you wouldn't be as slouched over as your counterpart, you'd be more upright. But you'd still have a very slight that's so you aren't standing up perfectly straight, but you're not as slouched. Let's see. Shoulders would be down a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Arms would be more here. 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 You're supposed to be a little bit like a little that. Ah, what I'm trying to say is this one is the goody two shoes for one. Green one is the meh, I don't care, meh. I'm trick. And this is, you know, little Miss Perfect or Mr. Perfect or their skeletons, okay? Anyways, uh, I'm thinking maybe a little bend to the knees. And. Let's see here, skeleton, dude. You'd be floating just above his hand. You wouldn't be touching it. You'd just be a little above it. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Actually, let me just... And there's going to be a lot more stuff done to him. This is just spawning them in. Okay, so now let me mark. Boom. Boom. Just going to select all that. Yep. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so now let me head override. Element viewer, model, materials, orange? That's supposed to be orange? Looks golden to me. But then again, I don't know. There's something with my eyes in that the yellow family is pretty hard to see, or at least. Anyways, uh, add attribute. Float alpha bouquet. Of course, it's invisible, so now let's just put that on. There we go. Okay, now it's starting to look a little orange. I suppose they added a yellow glow to it, but that may be why it looks uh, golden to me. And my voice is about to go, so I should probably wrap this up. Okay, so let's see. Uh, create that. Okay. Knock that shit out. There we go. I got trick and treat spawned in. There is that. Now let's see what that looks like. Gonna... That looks pretty good. And yeah, there's going to be additional stuff added to them, but that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, feel free to check out my other playlists. I have a ton of content on my channel now, so if you don't you know, if you get bored of animation stuff, you can just watch a playthrough. I've got plenty of those. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.